Ready. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So this week I'm going to be answering your assumptions that you gave me on Instagram. I'm going to get straight into this video because so I've got so many to answer and I don't want this video to be super, super long. So let's get on with it. So my first one was you're really confident. I wouldn't say that I'm like super confident because I think how I come across to people I do, but like people who don't like, really know me, like know that I'm not like really confident in everything. But like, I think sometimes I do come across this out, but like that definitely isn't the case. Like obviously everyone has like their days where like they're full of confidence and the other days where they're not. But I do think I do come across as like super, super confident, but like obviously there are like parts to me that aren't, but I think that's the same with that. My next one is I used to be shy. So I wouldn't say I was shy, but I wasn't like I didn't used to speak to a lot of people like in high school and like, obviously I'd chat to like my mates and stuff but then like if stuff happened like in lessons like obviously I used to like chat to my mates but like other people I'd like just get on with my work and stuff like I wasn't the type of person to like I'm not gonna say like mess around in lesson but do you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't, like, that type of person. Like, I was quite, like, reserved and stuff. Whereas now I don't think I am as much. I think it's just to do with, like, the different people that I mingle with now. Because, obviously, in high school, there's so many different people, like, that all want different routes. They've all got different views. Whereas, like, now at, like, college, like, we're all there for the same thing. So, we've all got a lot in common, which I think really helped with myself. The next one says, you're a jazz queen. <laughs> uh I actually love this. Thanks for who put this. I absolutely love jazz. I've said this in my previous videos. Like, I adore jazz so, so much. So, thanks Next for putting one that. one says, I don't like meeting new people. This is actually so true. This is Becky who put this. And, like, she knows me so well. I wouldn't say that I, I don't like meeting new people. But if I'm, like, by myself or something... I do get like quite nervous like meeting people and like I have really bad anxiety but it only comes out in like certain places so, like when I'm like by myself at the train station it like really comes out and I just like notice little things which they're not they're not even like big or anything but like I just notice them and then like my anxiety goes like through the roof so like, when I meet new people it's definitely like that but obviously if I'm with my mates meeting like other people then it's not as bad because like they're there with me and like we're all meeting them if that makes sense so yeah I'd say like I have mixed feelings about meeting new people this next one is you've always wanted to be a dancer as a career this actually isn't the truth um so obviously I've been dancing since I was two and I've always loved dance but there was um a part of me that actually wanted to become a midwife because I used to love like watching like Call the Midwife and stuff and um, One Born Every Minute and like, I always wanted to be a midwife um, but I was really really bad at science so I was like oh, okay maybe not and then obviously I love dance anyway but obviously dance is quite hard to get into but obviously now I do want to become a dancer because I um, was really bad at science but yeah I did want to become a midwife like that was one of my main Goals. This next one is you sing. So everyone already knows that I sing, especially lately. I've been posting a lot of singing videos out there. Um, this is all thanks to TJ because I used to have like anyone who used to see me at comps, so like especially from a dance school, before I went on for a song and dance solo, I always had, used to have like little panic attacks. I used to get so upset because my voice would like break and I couldn't do it and she used to have a breakdown. And I was not confident with my singing at all. Like, I absolutely hated singing. But, like, now I've grown so much more confident because I know how to, like, properly use my voice and, like, breathing. Because I really struggle to breathe when I'm singing. Like, I actually didn't know when to breathe. So, like, my voice would sound really bad because I wouldn't be breathing. But 
now that like I've gone to Addict and like TJ's helped me like build my confidence up and like taught me how to like do the proper steps to get there. So yeah, I'm so much more confident in my singing oh. now. This next one is you believe in life after death. I 100% believe in um, life after death. I'm, I absolutely love like s the spirits, like all stuff like that. Like, I, I oh my God, I love it. I wouldn't like, obviously my belief is like there's a heaven and a hell, but like, obviously I haven't got an opinion on what heaven's like. Cause I know that some people have like these theories of what like heaven's like and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I just believe that there is a heaven and hell and like there is spirits and stuff that can come back, like good spirits and bad spirits. Cause like, I love like haunting stuff, like all those like paranormal videos and um, like spiritual readings and everything like that. I'm so into all of that. So yeah, I definitely believe in life after death. Oh, this next one says, you believe in life on other planets. I haven't actually thought about this a lot, but I actually don't know what my opinions are on this because no one knows, do they? Like, it, it's such like a different subject because obviously like you don't even know like anything about space, like you just hear it through like NASA and stuff. But I like, what's a film called? Um, Independence Day. I love that film. So like, is there stuff like that out there? Who knows? Because obviously stuff like that hasn't happened here yet, but it could in the future. So my views could change, but at the minute I have no clue. Like I have no opinions on it because I just don't This have one it. is so kind. It says future model. I would actually love to model, but I feel like modeling is such like a toxic environment. Like I know that, um, like dancers and stuff but like with modeling like you have to literally be the certain size like if you look at all like models like victoria's secret models like i saw a photo go up and it was like they were promoting plus size models and she was not plus size and i was thinking if that is plus size like what i like what am i gonna be but obviously i'd love to do modeling for maybe like clothes brands and stuff but not like a proper like full-on model maybe like pretty little thing and misguided and stuff but not like one of like a big model like Kendall. Oh, this next one says body positivity influencer. I would absolutely love to be a body positivity influencer because I feel like nowadays like um there's no like definition of like perfect like if you're too fat you're labelled as too fat if you're too skinny your labels as too skinny like I don't think that is a perfect body anymore. So you've just like got to like, accept people for who they are because some people like are just naturally like that. Like some people are naturally bigger than others and yet they eat so healthy. And yet people who are really skinny, like they eat the same as like other people, but their body just like won't put on weight. Um, so like, I know that a lot of people do like stuff with weight and it's not just women, like it's men as well. That's why a lot of men go to the gym because they feel like they have to be like these like muscly people when like, obviously that isn't the case at all. It's just how society is like put out to like, they have to be like that. But I, I don't think that's the case at all. But if you're on my private stories, I literally talk about body, body positivity all the time. I just think it's something that needs to be talked more about and not like put down for it. This next one says, uh, punky rock glam edgy style no clue like my style changes all the time like, i don't just have like a specific style like one day you'll see me in like joggers and a jumper the next day you'll see me in like i don't really wear skinny jeans anymore but like wide leg jeans um the next day you might see me in like a skirt with some fishnet tights um some like baggy shorts tight shorts I literally just wear like anything like that that looks nice. I don't really focus on like one style because I don't like just sitting with one style. Like, it bores me. I'd rather like change things up now and again. And like, I know that like a lot of people do have like set styles like uh, like Molly May and stuff. But like I don't like to sit to one style. Like, I'd rather like mix it up a bit and just experiment with the styles that I like. Okay, so this one yeah. is can't decide between brown and blonde hair. I literally can't decide. So 
when I was born, I was born with blonde hair. I'll see if I can find a photo and add it in. Uh, blonde hair, and then I my hair like naturally turned brown, which you can see at the roots. But I was really brown. I'll like, attach a photo of that. Um, and then last year I had it done blonde, like blonde highlights, which is now it's like this. But we didn't realise how dark my natural hair actually was. So it didn't go back long, blonde, but now like, because when it's like done, it's like really blonde. And I, I don't know whether I like my hair blonde or brown. Like I actually cannot decide like, because I, I can't remember myself with brown hair, but like when I look at photos, I'm like, I really liked my brown hair, but then I mustn't have liked my brown hair when I had it to want to dye it blonde. So I'm like really stuck at the minute and watching This next one says, prefer natural makeup over glam makeup. Well, you see, I don't I don't wear a lot of makeup. Like I don't wear it to college. I, no, I never wore it to like high school. Only like the odd occasion I'd wear it, but I literally didn't wear it like, I just, I can't be bothered to do it. Like, I know that some girls that she wake up for school, like, every day. They do, like, full face, eyebrows, lashes, lipstick. I'm, like, fair play to them because they look so nice. But, personally, I just, I just don't wear makeup a lot. Like, because I like to, like, touch my face and stuff. And especially, like, with dance, like, you're sweating all day. I'm, like, I don't want to be worrying about, like, my makeup, like, smudging or something. So, personally, I just don't wear it. Like, but when I do wear it, I normally do go, like, all out. Like, normally I, like, when, like, filming and stuff, like, I just wear lipstick. Like, I've literally just got lipstick on. But um, when I do do my makeup, I do normally go, like, full out to, like, parties, going out somewhere nice. Um, obviously, like, dance comps and shows and stuff, you have to put, like, extra on to make it look, like, bolder and, like, stand out. But when I do wear makeup, I do wear, like, quite a lot of makeup like big lashes um highlight contour like i do really go for that so i think natural makeup looks so nice on other girls but i just don't like myself with makeup on without lashes and stuff so i have to go for that it's just a preference for myself okay the next one says you're a weirdo this is actually written by leah this is not like someone like calling me a weirdo randomly but if you know me personally and you know my mates, we are such weirdos when we're together. Like, it's actually horrendous how weird we are. I don't actually understand how we have mates. We are such weirdos, but we absolutely love it. Like, at college, we are laughing all day. Like, we joke with each other and we say stuff and we absolutely we ourselves. Uh, like, Becky, Lottie, Beth, like, we're all like weirdos when we're together. So, yeah, <laughs> that, that's just the point of it. Like, we're all little weirdos, but I think everyone is in their own way, but they just don't show it in front of other people. Like, they normally keep it to their friendship groups, but, like, me and the girls at college, we just, people can see it from a mile off when we're together, but I think it's the best way to be instead of, like, being silent with your friendship group because you don't want to be the boring friendship group. You want people to, like, want to, like, join in and laugh with you and stuff. So I think that's actually the best way to be because I love it and I know the girls love it as well when we're joking with each other, so. Okay guys, yeah. so those weren't all the questions that were put into my Instagram, but I feel like people like watching shorter videos on YouTube than longer ones, like I know that I do, like I'd rather sit there and watch like a 20 minute one like than like a 40 minute one or something, because you just get like bored sometimes. So I like to keep them short and sweet so people can just watch them when they want to, when they've like, got like just a spare like 20 minutes and I just, just want to put it on like I'm happy for like all the views even if you watch it for like the first like five minutes I'm like grateful for like any support that you can give me but um thank you for everyone who put their questions in even if I didn't use yours um thanks so much for all the support I keep getting don't forget to subscribe to my channel share my videos put comments below on any questions that you enjoyed, anything else you want to know about me and what you want to see in my next videos. And I'll see you all soon, guys. Stay safe. Ready.